So hey what's up guys Harsh and back with another video. So guys in this video I'm gonna show you 25 latest and cool Syria tweaks that are compatible with your iOS 12 and this uncover jailbreak. So guys recently I did a poll on one of my previous video in which I showed you again Syria tweaks. I asked you guys that should I make more such kind of videos or not and I got a lot of positive response from that video. So that's why I'm creating it again. So guys I've only copied two to three uh, tweaks from the previous videos rest all of the tweaks are new and those two to three tweaks I've copied just because they are so interesting that I don't want to miss them so guys let's just quickly get started so my first week is known as animation be fast I'll leave the links in the description for all of the tweaks and if you want to read an article regarding the tweaks I have covered in all of my videos I'll leave the link in the description for that one as well so guys, as you can see this right here is the animation be fast and as you can see my animations are so fast because I have reduced the speed from right over here as you can see here we have a bar springboard speed app open and close speed you can arrange it according to your preference so I like it to be very slow I mean very fast so that's why I made all of them to zero so guys, as you can see I am not getting even a single animation as you can see instantly and it everything is opening and closing instantly so this thing is pretty uh, so this thing I like about this the most so guys next app is known as app hider app hider what it does is that by the name it's clear it hides your application for example I'll just show you so guys, as you can see right now we are having this paytm or let's just try with adsense as you can see we have this adsense app right over here and now let me just quickly hide it so I'll just click right over here and it's saying that it will uh, only be applied when you respring your device so now I am respringing my device and I'll just show you in a moment and as you can see there is no app of AdSense right over here. So if you want to open this app, you can go to App Hider and click right over here and here you get an option for opening the app. So let me just quickly unhide this app because I don't want this to be hidden. Alright guys, so the next app is Battery Life. Battery Life is a very great app. It gives you a uh, very detailed explanation of your battery like what is the battery percentage, how much is the battery capacity right now. So as you can see the capacity is 950 by 950 mAh. This means my battery is 100% efficient and you can see all the cycles, current discharge time, the battery charge and you can see all the talk time, 3G browsing, LTE browsing, Wi-Fi browsing and all those stuff. So this is a very, hand this is a very cool app. This can come in very handy. So guys next up is Jellyfish by Jellyfish as you can see this right here is a very cool and customized lock screen. This looks really clean. This is inspired from the Apple Watch and guys the color of these icons it gets automatically arranged with the color of your background. So my dominant colors in the background are white and blue so that's why the color and the time is in black and blue. So this is a very great app. So guys next up is Skillex. Skillex what it does is that so when you earlier when you used to remove the apps you need to swipe them up one by one by one by one but with Skillex you just need to swipe any app downwards and then you will get rid of your app switcher. So guys as you can see there are no apps in my app switcher. This is because of a tweak called Skillex. So guys next up is Bloat. Bloat I have covered in the previous part as well but Bloat is again awesome tweak that's why I'm covering it again so let me just focus this thing so as you can see now I am getting a black keyboard black keyboard looks very cool with a black uh, with a black theme so as you can see I am using the dark mode as well and dark mode looks pretty insane and dark mode along with uh, this black keyboard gives my device an iOS 13 like features early I get to see the iOS 13 features early so guys, this right here black keyboard is because of a tweak called bloat b-l-o-a-r-d so guys next up is no beta no alert so no beta alert obviously I think it's clear and most probably you are familiar with it it you get rid of that pop-up which used to come every time and occupy your screen that was very annoying uh, it used to say that a new jailbreak is available there so don't stay on the beta version please go and update your device so with this tweak you don't get that notification so guys next up is no more separator no more separator is a very small tweak I'll just show you I'll just zoom in my screen so guys, as you can see right now I'm not having any of the uh, separator lines which were present earlier in my settings app so this makes my device look very cool and clean so I'll just focus this thing back again why this right here is because of a tweak called no more separator so guys next up is camera mode X or camera mode 10 camera mode 10 allows you to get depth effect portrait feature on your non iPhone 8 devices so guys, Jessica oh I'm sorry I was speaking Hindi so guys as you can see this right here is a portrait mode and this thing looks pretty cool all right guys so the next app is notepad notepad what it does is that it gives you a notepad on your lock screen so let's say if you want to take a note and you don't want to forget that you can type it right over here and this thing stays on your lock screen so whenever the next time you open your phone you get a reminder this is kind of a reminder that you have to complete one work or do this or do that so this is a very great tweak you can install and get a notepad on your lock screen so guys next up is noti mask what noti mask does is that noti mask gives you fake notifications so I'll just show you what I mean by fake notification so guys let's say I have enabled WhatsApp and now 
I'll click on fake app. I'll have click battery and now let me just add a title. Hi, what's up? Harsh. Whenever I get a notification from WhatsApp, it will not come under the name of WhatsApp. It instead, it will come in the name of uh, the app which I selected that was App Store. So guys, now let me just show you and the message which we typed in hi and WhatsApp will come instead of that thing. So I'll just show you what I mean. So I'll just send a message to my this number on WhatsApp. So guys, as you can see, I have typed in some random letters right over here and I'll just click on send. And as you can see, uh, this is from the notification is from the app store and it's the same message which I recently typed in the app. It's what's up Hirsch. And as you can see, what's up Hirsch, this right here is the message. Instead of coming, instead of showing up as WhatsApp, it's showing up as app store just because of the tweak called no demask. So guys, I'll just turn it off because I don't like it personally. I'm just showing it to you guys just to create this video. So I have turned it off and let me just quickly remove it. So guys, next up is pull to respring. Most probably you are familiar with this. This is a very handy tweak. Whenever you have installed new application or you have made changes with the tweaks, you just instead of going into settings and doing a lot of complicated stuff in order to respring your device, you just need to do this in the goals. You need to go to your setting apps and just pull down and then the, your de device will be respringed. So this is a very great app. Next up is Rooster. Rooster, what it does is that it enables and disables notification by 3D touch on an application. So guys, earlier, if you wanted, wanted to remove the notification, you need to go to the settings and do all those complicated stuff or not complicated, but it's, it used to consume a lot of time. But with this, you can enable a notification just by 3D touching on an icon. So guys, as you can see, I've disabled notification and now I get another pop-up saying enable notification. So this is a very great tweak. This is due to a tweak called rooster so guys next up is shuffle shuffle app what it does is that it gives you uh wait i'll just show you so guys shuffle app what it does is that it gives you this right uh this three used app right over here so guys when i come into the settings and as you can see i have these three things do not open apps and system apps so basically it's very cool tweak so for me when i create my videos this can come in very handy so earlier what i used to do in order to go to the tweaks i needed to swipe down but with this thing all of my tweaks are here and they are arranged very properly and that too they are on top of my settings menu so this is a very great tweak you can arrange uh you can rename this icon right over here as well so earlier it was tweak and i have changed this name to uh, do not open so guys as you can see you can change the title from right over here so guys next week is spin 11 spin 11 what it does is that it gives your lock screen a very great view so i'll just show you so let's say i have played one song and as you can see i get a very cool and a clean circular look of my song which i am playing uh, of the song which I am playing. Sorry for bad English. But the, as you can see, this right here is a progress of the song and you can fast forward and rewind the song from here or you can change the songs. And as you can see, this comes with a very cool animation. So here we go. So guys, this is due to a tweak called Spin 11. So I'll just remove these things. So guys, next up is Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, what it is that when you 3D touch on an icon, it gives the dominant color of that application to your background. So guys, as you can see, uh, instead of going simple blur, it changes the background color to the dominant color of that app. So Strava and it's orange, Snapchat, it must be yellow. And as you can see, the yellow is pretty much visible. So this is due to a tweak called Cuttlefish. So guys, next up is Pencil Charger Indicator. So I'll just show you what Pencil Pencil charger does, indicator does it that so you get a pop-up every time you pull in your charger and as you can see this is inspired for the apple from the apple pencil and this thing looks pretty cool as well so i think you have noticed this earlier as well because when my uh, when there was notification for low battery so guys as you can see this right here is due to a tweak called pencil charger indicator and this thing looks pretty insane all right guys next up is status modifier status modifier what it does is that i think you might have noticed that i am getting a seconds menu on my status bar and there is no indicator for the battery so this is due to a tweak called status bar modifier status modifier and as you can see here you have all the option which you can choose from you can do uh, a lot of things with this you can change this format of your time uh, using this pre-available format or you can remove the icons for time airplane mode signal bar carrier 3g4 tlt battery alarm geolocation rotation data spinner and battery on charge so this is a really great tweak you can install it to get uh, to customize your status bar i like it very much next up is tap video config tap video config what it does is that whenever you want to shoot a video you can just click right over here and you get all the option which you if you want to change the type of video you are recording so guys by default apple doesn't give it uh, in their settings menu i'm sorry in the camera app if you wanted to change this thing earlier you need to go to your setting and do a lot of time uh, 
and do a lot of stuff which might consume a lot of time with this app you can do this thing right over in your camera menu so this thing looks pretty cool so guys as you can see here i have an option the default is 1080 pixel at 60 frames per second and 4k 30 720p and all those stuff so this is a very great tweak this is because of a tweak called tap video config config so guys next up is stream time so I'll just show you what trim time does. So let me just quickly open one video. Because as you can see, this right here is a video. And if I wanted to trim the this video, so earlier what used to happen, the video which is present right over here does not move. So video does not use to move. But with this tweak, you know that what happens in that particular second. So you can arrange it with your own choice. So guys, as you can see, if I wanted to trim this video from right over here, earlier I earlier the video which is present right over here does not use to move or actually it was not even a video it was just a thumbnail but with this app you can see each and everything what is happening in that particular second from this tweak so this is because of a tweak called trim tunes so this come come in very handy trust me guys i have used it a lot next up is youtube d youtube d allows you to play youtube even even after escaping it so guys i'll just show you i'll just play one video and let me just play this thing only so guys as you can see the video is running so in the background cool and, clean is this thing. So this is the and this right here is pin 11 so here's a surprise Harsh back with another video so guys in this video i'm going to show you another 10 more exciting scenes so guys as you can see this is video. due to a tweak called youtube d this allows you to play youtube in your background so this is a very great tweak which you can install next up is zenith zenith what it does is that so i'll just show you what zenith does so as you can see you can ha hide icons below the icons which are already present on your screen so i'll just show you i'll just show you adding one so guys as you can see this right here is watch and when i swipe down on this i can add applications whichever application i want so i'll just add news inside of watch so whenever i swipe down from that particular icon so as you can see this will give me a very clean look and as you can see news now comes at the bottom of watch and all the applications which were present right over here goes down and this looks very clean you can add four apps which you want so one over each edge and this looks pretty good obviously if you're using these corner apps you can only add three and two in case of the top corner apps so guys next and final is eclipse x eclipse x is more uh, is redefined and redesigned for your ios 12 so this gives you a this give your device a dark theme and as you can see this is looking pretty insane and this is we do what we call eclipse 11 and this looks pretty cool and this also increases the battery backup of your device so guys most probably i think that i have covered more than 25 tweaks so guys i think that's that was pretty much it for this video and if you guys have made it till the end drop a like to this video and if you want making me most kind of videos hit that red subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one